So chalk couture is my new obsession. And I'm going to take this window, scrape it clean, put a little Windex on it, clean it up really nice, distress the outer, uh, whatever that thing is called, the frame, and make it look like it's old farmhousey, and put a cock on it. That's lame. Whoever put clear silicone on these windows, you suck. Now, an intelligent person would have sanded this before they Windexed this. But, I like to do things backwards. So, we're going to Windex it, sand it, and then Windex it again. This is just your everyday average Harbor Freight Palm Sander. It's a drill master. It has worked for me very well. I've had it for about a year. It's still going strong and I have sanded quite a few things with it. <laughs> these old window frames they're all very dirty I mean legitimately very dirty so I'd said that I wasn't going to do anything to it but as I'm going over it I see that it's very dirty on a lot of these windows it's kind of hard to tell the front and the back so generally the uh, front of the window is going to have the base be a little thicker on the bottom and it's also very dingy I was actually going to use this side before I realized that this side is actually the front so I want it to look old but I don't want it to look dirty so I'm actually going to get a little bit of my off-white my daughter's making fun of me because I did this <laughs> um, get a little bit of my off-white chalk paint and just touch up to where it looks a little less like I just rubbed it with dirt. All right, so I have my Waverly chalk plaster, which I get at Walmart. It's either $5.96 or $6.96 for an eight ounce size. So I have this little brush, just dip it in a little and you just Set that over to this side. All right, we have our historic downtown farmer's market rooster. Oh, and I got paint on it. How did that happen? And I've used this three times. This will be the fourth time that I've used it. You can use them, it says eight to 12 times. I have never used any of my stencils more than this one. So fourth time, that'll be the, the most I've used any stencil. I'm using my Chalkology paste. Uh, these are two ounce sizes. They sell them in two ounces for $8.99 and three ounces for $12.99. So like say black, I wanted to get black in three ounce because black is a very popular color and I wanted a bigger container, but they only had the two ounce. So I did purchase that. This is black and this is red. I'm sure they have fancy names, but this one's black and this one's red. Those are their fancy names. Those are their fancy names in this house. Okay. Oh my gosh, more paint. All right, now I will say the very first time that I took this stencil off the back, it is sticky. So it's like a big sticker or duct tape if you're trying to wrap something and you get one side of the duct tape on the other side of the duct tape. And it doesn't so want to come across. Hard to get off. All right, I'm talking, you not yeah. talk. Okay. Okay. So. As you're peeling it, be very careful. You might even, ah, uh, oh, son of a, what? All right, I would go two handed here. Don't try to pull it off with one hand because it will catch. So you can stick it, I stick it on me sometimes if I need the correct corner. And when you're going to center this, I can't, it's very difficult. Um, that's probably the hardest part of this whole thing. 
So ignore your bottom part. It's going to stick, but you might try to bunch it where it's kind of, it still gives you a little room to play up here. So that looks good right about there. Smooth that top layer in, then you can pick this bottom part up and lay it down gently, but I work at it like, like it's wallpaper. You get your squeegee. These are 99 cents. Normally if you buy and you tell them it's your first time, they'll throw one in. That was my experience. So you dip a little corner in. It's like a squeegee, like a window but it's rubber like an eraser, although I don't know if you could use it as an eraser. That was dumb. I don't know why you want to use this as an eraser. And just dab, 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 dab. Okay. We have all the black on there. Uh, I only have one squeegee, so I'm going to go wash it, dry it, and come back for the red. So we're going to take our red now. And as you're going, make sure you're looking and seeing the tips of your letters, make sure they're all covered because when you go to peel this thing off, it looks really funny if you've missed the top line of the F or the, you know, part of the feathers on here. You, you do notice it. Over here. Actually, that looks terrible. The whole thing looks freaking terrible. So yesterday's attempt at the Chalk Couture Rooster was an epic fail. I don't know if it was the bad mood I was in or the fact that I had to go to basically what would be like a Tupperware party because they said please. I put this I put the stencil down but I guess I didn't press enough or maybe it's not as sticky after the third use and a lot of the paint bled through. But I did also put water in the paste and I more or less stirred it with the squeegee. I didn't shake it really good. I have since and hope that the consistency is a little bit thicker because if it is watery, it does still go beneath that sticky and fail. So we're going to attempt that again. Okay, I can already feel on this stencil that there is no sticky on this corner. I've used it three times. Um, you can also see where it's curling up here and not sticking down. A little disappointed that four, or this would be the fourth, I guess fifth usage, including the one that I screwed up on yesterday. It's not sticking on the corners and around the edges. So we're going to give it another go, pressing down really hard on the center. That actually worked out really well, peeling that off the way that I just did. Almost, I think I did put a little bit too much water in it yesterday. Go slow if you're, if it's dried out. Ah, you're showing him the crappy side of the room. Quick, switch. All right. Now, let's hope this one is actually going to come up and not be the failure that yesterday was. Okay. Looks good so far. As I'm pulling it up, I'm trying not to stretch that uh, stencil. Okay, I do see some places where the stencil ran. This is going to happen. Uh, for me, it's happened about half the time. And I don't know if I get too fast or my paint's too watery or what. But almost always, I have one or two places that need to be repaired. So I'm going to go with the smaller ones first. This Q-tip is wet on the top. And it just wipes up. You can follow up with a dry Q-tip. You can take it off with a dry Q-tip. But that takes longer and 
I'm a little short on patience most days, so. Okay. You done? Yeah. I have found when you're cleaning your stencils, the hot water and a uh, spray nozzle do the best. And I also use my oh. dish sponge. If you get your stencil out and first rattle out of the bat, get it all stuck on itself, then uh, come and rinse it with water and that will help it unstick better than pulling it apart like duct tape. Sticky side up. Give that a chance to dry. Well, I learned a couple of things on that window. Definitely don't water down your paint. If it gets dried out, just put a little bit of water because it'll go a long way and make sure your stencil is very pressed, wrinkle-free on your glass surface. I know that you can do it on chalkboard as well, but I have not done that yet, so anyhow. <laughs>